Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial on setting your stick up once you get it home. So after you've plugged your stick in uh, to the back of your TV on the HDMI, uh, give it a few you know seconds, probably five, ten seconds, uh, to open up and get to this fire starter screen. Um, if for some reason it doesn't uh, flip over to this screen, you'll be on the Fire TV home screen. Um, if you just press your home button on the remote once, which is the button that with the house on it, it'll take you in here um, at any time when you're ever doing anything. Two clicks of that home button will take you right into Cody. Um, but for initial setup, you'll initially want to be on this screen. You'll go down to your settings. You will go over to system. Go down to network and you'll select network and then you will select your wi-fi network put in your passcode and that will hook you up into your wi-fi mine is already hooked in so no reason to go through that but that's how you get hooked into your wi-fi the only other other thing you can do from here is if you currently have an amazon account uh, whether it's a free account or prime account you can hook it up and and sync your account to your stick you don't ever have to do that. If you don't have an account, don't worry about it. It's currently set up under a, a dummy account that I set up. Um, if you want to put yours on and sync it, it won't affect anything that I've done. You'll still have all the programs, but you'll also have all the Amazon benefits. Uh, but do not deactivate or deregister the account that's on here if you don't have an account, because you do have to have some kind of an account on here. Um, but like I said, if you do have an account and you want to register it, you simply go to my account, you select it, you go deregister, which will deregister the account I have on here. You put in your Amazon information, registers your account, you're good to go. And then you have all the benefits that Amazon gives you um, in addition to all the things that I've put on the stick. Um, now, like I said, uh, from there, go ahead and press your home button. That will take you into Firestarter. And then you'll click into Cody. And then you go on to Cody and uh, follow my next videos that will take you through walking you through Cody. Uh, although, uh, real quick, the first thing I do want you to do uh, is we're going to want to check uh, your speed. Um, now, when you first go into Cody, you might see uh, give it about two to three minutes in case some things need to uh, need to update, things like that. With this Arnu Box Speed Tester, one of the things it does is it has a uh, an ad for some uh, Android boxes um, come up that uh, Arnu Box sells. Um, don't worry about that. Uh, you can press your back button to uh, to get rid of that ad. If for some reason the ad freezes it up um, at any time, all you need to do is just press your home button, uh, go back into Cody, press your menu button, which is the button with three little lines on it, go to app settings, and go for stop. Um, so if at any time, and this is for the length of the time that you own it, if it ever freezes up or something, uh, simply just for stop it uh, and, and relaunch the application. Um, and, it'll, and it'll work just fine. Um, but to do your speed test, there's a few of these at work. Uh, Aries does uh, a speed test. Wookie has a speed test and Ornu Box has a speed test. Uh, Ornu Box is probably the easiest. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and just select it. And it'll go ahead and run the speed test. Because number one, what we want to do is we want to establish um, that you have a minimum of 20 megabytes per second for your internet speed. If you don't have at least 20 megabytes per second, there's a good chance that you're going to see buffering, freezing, um, you know, and, and some stoppage issues and things with the stick. Um, and, and so we want to make sure before we do anything else uh, that, that you do have, um, you know, the proper speed that's going to let it run. So as you can see, this comes up. This one's, uh, you know, 57.59 obviously that's 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 great anything above 20 is going to be just fine and the the amount of things that you have pulling off of your wi-fi are going to depend on how much one stick can get for example i run about 12 to 14 different things off of my wi-fi um and so you know if i run just one off here this you know will usually pull you know to 250 um you know but since i have multiple things running in the house you know getting any anywhere above 50 is, is really good um but like i said all you need is anything above 24 to run well uh so once you've done that that, just press your, press your back button. Uh, no, you don't need to save a copy of it. Um, you're good there. And then just uh, watch the, uh, the next videos on walking you through um, how to use the stick uh, and things like that. So thanks a lot.